The notorious Genghis Khan founded what is today Mongolia way back in the 13th century. But 800 years later, many in the landlocked Asian country are using the United States as a role model for the future. Barry Peterson paid a visit. Mongolia is a place of vast open spaces, hardy people, bitter winters, and now a country in the midst of political change. A communist state under Soviet rule most of the last century, it became a democracy 15 years ago. And now it's caught between its traditional past and its modernizing future. And what better symbol of democracy than this, Lady Liberty? This replica, built by a former Mongolian fighter pilot named Gimbold on the outskirts of Ulaanbaatar to celebrate Mongolia's fledgling democracy with the symbol of the country he most respects. America is the number one democracy in the world, he says, and this statue is the symbol of American democracy. Mongolia is a country squeezed between two powerful neighbors, Russia to the north, China to the south. Now it's reaching out to what it calls its third neighbor, that country on the other side of the globe, the United States. Which is why Mongolia sent a handful of soldiers to support the U.S. in Iraq and got a thank you visit from the first American president to set foot here. Number one. And why Mongolia is telling its people, learn English. Mongolia is also learning the hard way that democracy is a messy business. People here can protest because it's an open society. And change comes with its own price. People complain about corruption and the end of the welfare state that once protected them from cradle to grave. But it is a price worth paying for the freedom that Mongolians now have, says the man with the statue. Even the birds, when they fly, they fly free, he told us. Freedom in a country that's now decided it's found the role model for its future.